Hello everybody. Welcome to my small house bathroom makeover. And what I'd like to show you today is we got all the old particle board ripped out. There's a nice little uh, addition. There used to be a window here at one time. Somebody covered it up with plywood. They obviously didn't caulk it very well because uh, some wasps have got into the wall. And they have been creating quite the nest for the last 15, 30, 40 years. I'm not really sure how long that's been going on, but it's just some of the kind of stuff that you discover when you are remodeling very old houses. Looks like this has got some water damage, so we got uh, quite a bit of extensive repair to do. Um, so far we have tore out all the sheathing. Um, about a month ago we built, we took out a wall right here and we built a little washer and dryer room. This is the old tub and shower. As you can see we've had some water leaking so I've used some towels up. There's my cat getting a little bit of a drink here before we tear this out. What's going to happen is we're going to put a corner shower stall in that corner and take out this tub system. I'm going to dismantle this tub now. Tomorrow we are going to cut a giant hole in that wall so we can get the shower stall into the house. Um, we have to go three, two, through three doorways and all of them are very small so I want to cut one hole instead of three holes so we're going to cut a hole in here since we're putting a new window in anyways and one thing I'd like to show you here old style cabin house windows check this out they used to slide up into the wall. Let's talk about energy efficient, not here. And of course, that's just a single pane window, but we're going to be taking that out and putting a cool little octagon window over in between probably those two right there. And then for the toilet, as you can see it's sitting in there kind of cramped. We do have our washing machine sitting in here. We had that hooked up to the sink there while we build the washer dryer room. But the toilet, after that pipe has to stay there, so I'm going to build a double wall. They had a, a double wall built there, but it it's still exposed part of the pipe up along the top. And we're going to build another double wall, but we're going to move the toilet over so it sits either center in between that spot, or we would like to get it kitty corner as well as we're going to try to put the corner shower stall in that corner. I'm not sure if we have enough room in here. But I purchased a large sink with base and cabinets to fit right here in this section. So tonight I'm going to try to get the rest of this dismantled. So tomorrow we can cut a hole in the wall and bring in our tub. And then we can fix all of our sheathing. Um, we're going to go ahead and insulate in plastic this whole room including the ceiling and we're going to sheetrock it all and then we're going to run all of our plumbing inside the house 
inside of another double partition wall which will come up probably about four feet or somewhere about there where the countertop for the base sinks or for the bath sink sets so should be a fun project another uh, this old house renovation this is one a particular one's going to be pretty cool it's going to be a small house but we're uh, revamping it all to be as big as we can possibly get each room um, this particular the bathroom will let you see a little bit of more of that in another video thanks for watching